good morning now we will be looking towards how to visualize linear equations suppose we have two equations and two variables they would represent lines for an example if i had equation x1 plus 3 x2 equals to 5 other equation i have is 3 x1 minus 4 x2 is equals to 9 so if i independently check if i want to draw this it will be a line if i independently draw it it will be a line if these two equations or these two lines intersect at a point as shown here then we'll get a single solution of x1 and x2 and you can easily imagine we could have a situation where these two equation can result into parallel lines and coincident lines that means coincident so with two equation and two variables we have three types of solution one is intersecting second one is parallel third one is coincident we now increase the number of variables to 3 now for three variables and three equations an equation like x1 plus x2 plus x3 is equals to 6 would represent a plane so what actually we are having is we are having three planes when we have three equations now what are the ways of solving this equation when i am meant to say solving this equation means does it have one common value of x1 x2 x3 which will satisfy all these three equation it's possible and there would be situations where all these planes will be parallel to each other or two would be parallel and one is intersecting the two planes at other other points so all the situations that you can think of in while interacting or while imagining these three planes those all possibilities are there when we try to solve three variable based three equations this really helps us out in understanding at least two variable two equations and three variable three equations as the order of the equation increases the more and more variables are introduced it will become more and more difficult to visualize but most of the time in our real life we get two equations and two variables and three equations with three variables there are many situations in engineering examples where we need to do it computationally we usually get you know 1000 by 1000 1000 variables and 1000 equations to solve them we usually follow the iterative methods of solving of matrices thank you